Hi everyone, Scott here from Blue Cinema. Uh, I'm here today to do a video review or vlog on uh, the film Rampart. So before we get started with the actual review, why don't we watch the trailer? Here we go. Yeah, firm, I just want to make sure you're going to be... <laughs> I am not a racist. The fact is, I hate all people equally. You could just stop beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> You seen anything unusual lately? Not a damn thing. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in this bar. <laughs> I gotta go. You have to stay. I can prove that your shooting was dirty, just like I can prove you dirty. You can't just walk in the house like you still live here. You were a dirty cop, and you dirtied all of us up by default. Have you thought about retirement? If you force me to retire, I'll have my own show on Fox News inside one week. You'll be my first guest. Say you have thought about it. The laws change, the people change, but not you. Why is that? Go home and pack a bag. Save that for the jury. I told her everything. Ah! Oh, yeah, the women and the booze. You gotta let us go. I'll never let you go. No man who ever shoots another man is entirely cogent in the moment. Did you learn that with the first man you killed? You're either lying to me or you're withholding. This is what I do. The only thing that's wrong here is that a camera caught him doing police work. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you enjoy the trailer? Excellent. Okay, so let's talk about the film. If we look at the story of Rampart, it's a story that's full of uh, conspiracy, corruption within the police department, and investigation. But really, that's just the fluff, the outside part of what is actually a very good character story study of an extremely amoral and dirty man, uh, policeman, within the LAPD, and, and it's, it's, it's his kind of unravelling, so to speak. In that role, um, David Brown is the name of the policeman, is Woody Harrison. He, he finds himself under public scrutiny and investigation for openly, in the middle of the road, middle of the day, beating a member of the public who crashed into his police car. The film is set in 1999, right after the Rampart uh, scandal, which exposed the amount of corruption and, and dirt that was within the LAPD. Um, and with all this going on in the background, it allows um, David Brown to become extremely paranoid. And he believes that he, 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 he was just set up by um, the police department to take the fall for all, this problem, all the problems that are arising uh, within the department. What is quite interesting, though, is... is when you stand Harrison's David Brown up against other dirty cops um, from films, for instance, you've got Nick Cage as Bad Lieutenant, who's very flamboyant and over the top, and a little bit of blah, blah. Uh, or, or you've got Denzel Washington and his very, very evil portrayal uh, as a dirty cop within Training Day. If you look at those two compared to David Brown within Rampart, and they're, they're very, very different. They're very competent, lively, vivacious, over the top. And Harrison Brown is kind of low key. He's at ease. He's a, he's a dirty cop. He knows what he's doing, but he's just getting on with it. And for me, that makes him a little bit more scary. Um, throughout the film, Brown is unrepentant. He spends most of the, most of the time uh, under investigation, being threatened with suspension, court cases, and all these other things. But really, all he gets is a slap on the back on the back of the hand for being a naughty boy. Where the problems do arise, though, is within his very un, um, fun, unfunctional, no, dysfunctional family. Uh, he's, he lives with his two ex-wives 
and his two daughters. Now that sounds weird in itself, but the two ex-wives are actually sisters, uh, and the daughters are from one apiece. So you can see it's a little bit strange. Um, they just want to get away from him as the film un unravels, and he unravels, and he becomes further and further down in this spiral. But all he wants to do is keep them close. He says family is very important; they must stay together. Uh, it's 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 hell to watch, but very very clever as well. The supporting cast um, are very strong. You've got uh, the the two uh, ex-wives, with Cynthia Nixon and Anna Hesch. Uh, they're brilliant, and you've also got a very very grimy and sleazy Ned Beatty um, in the, in the film as well, which is quite a pleasure to see him on the screen again. Unlike a lot of the films in this genre, Ramp Up doesn't take the easy route and ramp up the tension towards the final half and the final act of the movie. Instead, we're made to watch a slow, slouching fall of a professionally dying man as he falls down, desperate to try and reconcile any kind of relationship with his daughters and settle as any scores he can on the way down. Uh, there's some very interesting choices by Mother Men um, in the slow edits and zooms and pans. There is one that is quite clever, but I don't think it really works in this kind of circular pan where, where um, Harrison is um, being interrogated by um, Steve Buscemi and Sigourney Weaver. It kind of goes round and round, and it, to be honest, it just made me feel sick. Um, that aside, Rampart is a very nice, slow-burning film. It's a good drama, fantastic character study. Um, it's very well made, and it's very sensitive. Um, if you if you liked The Messenger, which was Motherman's previous film, I would definitely recommend you watch this film. FRC rating, you ask? 3.5 out of 5. Well, thanks very much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll smile a bit more this time, because my wife always tells me off for not smiling. Um, and I hope to see you again on another one of our little vlogs. Bye-bye.